Hey everyone, I'm doing a review on a book called Replay by Ken Grimwood. And this is a book that I had never heard of in my entire life until Suntup Editions announced that it was going to be a release, uh, a future release last year. And I had a number and never heard of it. I ordered it. I bought the book and... Uh, then I read up on the book. It was highly recommended, but when I read up on the book, like it didn't come off as something that I was gonna like at all. I read things like it was crushing, and de I, I got the sense that this was a book that was gonna make me feel depressed when I read it. And I don't like to feel depressed. You got enough things, the way I look at it, there's enough things in life that you gotta battle with, and depression is one of them that we all from time to time are gonna deal with. And I don't want that kind of stuff in my life. So I pretty much expected that I was gonna sell this book off when it came in. And uh, so months, months rolled on by, and for some reason I decided I'm gonna give it a shot. See what the hubbub's all about. I don't wanna sell off a book only to find out later on that I, it's a book that I love and I have to try to re, recapture that thing. I don't want to have to do that. So I had the book coming. It's not, it hasn't been delivered yet. It hasn't been finished yet. So it'll be coming out eventually, shipped to my mailbox eventually. But uh, I, I ordered a very economical, economically priced soft cover copy of the book replay by Ken Grimwood and I was going to give it a shot and what the reason I'm doing this review right now I hate doing book reviews mostly because there's no good way to do a good book review either I tell you too much about the book and it pisses everybody off or I don't tell you very much about the book and I give you nothing and it comes off as though uh, I didn't tell you anything that you didn't already know by reading the back of the book but I decided I wanted to do this book review in particular because maybe there's somebody out there that will read a, some of the, the commentary or the reviews or uh, even the, the back of the book and think, that's, that's not for me. And that's, like I said, that's exactly what I thought. I thought this was going to be a depressing book, a heartbreaking book, and that's just not what I want out of life. That's not what I want out of a book. When I read this book, just to start with, the main character, Jeff Winston, is on the phone with his wife and she says she more asks the question in a form of a statement do you know what we need and when she asks him do you know what we need a bunch of things run through his head and most of them indicate that he's not happy their relationship's not good he's a 43 year old man and then boom crushing pain face flat down on the desk he dies from a heart attack and right off the bat, I kind of, I kind of associated with this guy, not because I don't have a good marriage or anything like that, but because I'm a 45 year old guy today, right? I mean, not today, but I'm 45 years old right now. I'm a married man. I got children. You got a house. You got other houses. You got whatever stuff going on in your life. But I'm at the point in my life where I'm, I'm starting to see things that I hoped I would be able to do in my life. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm too old for that. Starting to see those kinds of things, realizing now that there's stuff in life that I'm never going to accomplish. And so I, I kind of associated with the character right off the bat. He drops dead on his desk and wakes up, and I think he was 18 years old again. He was a beginning college age kind of guy. And now he has all of the knowledge that he had when he died at the age of 43, now he has as a teenager. And that is also something that I think many of us think about. Not only could I go back and try it again, knowing what I know now, man, I could do things a lot better. But you think back about uh, relationships where maybe you should have tried a little harder and uh, or that person deserved more or uh, that person was better for you than you thought they were, things like that. I wish I could go back and relive that moment. But on the other hand, you realize that if I did that, maybe what I have now would never have come about. So it's a conundrum that we often, I often, in my brain, stuff you think about. And the book, this book, 
helps to flesh some of that stuff out because he gets the chance to go back and do things over and over and over again. Uh, anyway, uh, it shows what I would expect that a lot of times in life, stuff happens so incidentally, such happenstance. If I wouldn't have been at this one place at that one time in that particular mood I was in or that particular attitude I was uh, going through the day with, this event would have never happened. If that would have never happened, I never would have been there and done this and met that person and married and all that kind of stuff. This book kind of plays out a lot of those scenarios for you. You also say, man, if I could go back and do that, I'd have it made. I'd be a millionaire, be rich and happy and all that kind of stuff. A lot of those scenarios are played out as well. Like I said, he lives his life over and over again. Uh, but there's other problems besides just those things that we can expect in this story his re, re going back in time there, there's a, uh, an issue that comes up and you have to it makes you have to read on to the end to figure out how it turns out um so well there's a uh, uh, i try not to give too many spoilers but there is a thing i want you to know this book is to me not crushing this book is not depressing this book leaves me at the end feeling hope for my life, for my future. That's that's what I took away from this book. Um, not hopelessness, not crushing, but hopefulness. And uh, I think if I talk too much more, I'm going to be pissing some people off with spoilers. So, so overall, what did I think about this book? Is that what you're asking? I didn't hear anybody ask that question, but... What I think about this book, I love this book. If I'm gonna, I, I went on the Goodreads website, I rated it five out of five. I don't always do that, but when I do, it means I really, it means the book really touched me in one way or another, and that's what this book did. It spoke to me, it made me feel good. When I closed the book, I had a little bit of tears in my eyes, not crying, but my eyes were a little bit glassy, watery looking, but I felt giddy, I felt excited. I wanted to go hug my wife wanted to go hug my kids. I wanted to go tell them that I love them. I felt hopeful. Uh, so I got the the uh, Sun Tup Editions, numbered edition of this book coming. Got my number coming. Am I going to keep it? Hell yeah. It's going on the shelf with pride. I can't wait to get this one in. In the house now. Can't wait. So Sun Tup, bring it on. I appreciate the good work. Uh, great book. I recommend you read it. I can't guarantee that it's going to affect you in the same way that it affected me because that's the way emotions are, man. Uh, that's the way it, that's the way it goes. Sometimes one thing touches you and it doesn't touch me and vice versa. But I love the book. One day I'll read it again. I'm sure I'll like it even more than now. Kind of knowing what to expect with a little bit of that fear and anxiety waiting for the other shoe to drop. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> That's about all the lies I can think of. Got no more to tell. So without any further ado, say la vie, baby. 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 Say la vie, baby.